Greetings from Orso in the first week of June 2021. My name is Konrad Grotowski and this is news from Poland, business and law, a synthesis for foreign directors of Polish companies, foreign investors in Poland and their foreign lawyers. Let's start with the current picture of the Polish economy. In 2020, the recession in Poland amounted to only 2.7% and only Ireland, Luxembourg and Lithuania had lower recession. We have the lowest unemployment rate of all 27 European Union countries, 3.1%. For comparison, the average unemployment rate in the EU countries is 7.3%. Although government financial aid programs for companies affected by the economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic are ending, unemployment is unlikely to increase. Poland will probably benefit from the reshoring trend, i.e. the return of production to the investor's country of origin or to a location close to the target sales markets. The idea is to shorten supply chains in order to prevent them from being interrupted again by pandemic recurrences. In our case, this means the transfer of production by Western European companies from Asia to Poland, i.e. to a country with relatively low production costs and located close to the markets in Western Europe. In response to Western European consumers' demand for household appliances, furniture, TV sets and car parts, production increased so much that the losses caused by the pandemic were more than recovered. Currently, Polish companies have even problems with ensuring the right amount of raw materials and components for production. And by the way, someone has to deliver these goods around Europe. One third of the transport of goods by trucks in the EU is carried out by Polish companies. It is surprising that despite lockdowns in Europe, orders for Polish shipping companies increased. It turns out that closing the current market mobilized companies to look for new markets. After the restrictions were lifted, the old markets joined the new ones. High activity in the mergers and acquisitions market has been maintained since the middle of last year. At the same time, there are few transactions regarding the so-called distressed assets. There is no panic selling of pandemic-affected businesses. Now my guest, Barbara Wisniewska, attorney at law, member of the Wardyński and Partners real estate practice, will talk about the prospects for the development of PRS in Poland. Hi. As mentioned in the previous episode, the private rented sector in Poland is on the radar of foreign institutional investors. Let's take a closer look at this trend. Investment in residential rental properties are in vogue in Western Europe. Despite the global crisis caused by COVID-19, investors actively seek opportunities in friendly foreign markets, including Poland. The Polish market is considered promising, even though historically in Poland there has been a tradition of owning rather than renting. However, progressive demographic and social changes, high prices and restrictions on financing, along with the inconveniences of the existing rental sector, which is fragmented and mainly in private hands, have sparked a new trend in favor of the institutional rental sector. There is a concern for mobility and income stability, as well as a preference for flexible rental agreements over mortgages. This leads to an expectation of a professional rental market and overall quality. Tenants are beginning to prefer dealing with the single professional investor who can provide decent standard residential premises, as well as additional facilities and services, including property management. Currently, the residential rental market needs to be adopted and developed to meet those needs. This may be solved by institutional investors coming to Poland. Several large deals in the private rented sector have been concluded over the past few years and further acceleration is expected. Why is that? Residential rental property is considered a low-risk asset class. Poland is favored by demographics. The stable economy and strong results in the housing sector make Poland a market with great potential, offering stable cash flow and high returns. The number of developers seeking to diversify their revenues by building projects entirely for institutional investors is increasing. There is also rising interest among property management companies eager to support investors in professional management of rent and services. Advising foreign investment funds on complex, multi-phase real estate transactions shows that investing in the private rented sector should be preceded by comprehensive due diligence. The analysis must cover all legal aspects of the transaction, including purchase of the land or building, zoning and environmental issues, as well as property and rent management. 
the legal analysis must be supported by a comprehensive exploration of tax and financing matters. For example, one issue specific to Poland is that many Polish properties are subject to restitution claims related to unlawful post-war nationalization, especially in Warsaw. This requires special legal analysis when choosing the site for future real estate projects. At the final stage of handing over the development to be managed and leased, it is important to negotiate favorable property management and lease agreements. They should secure the investors' interests, in particular with regard to rent increases or in case of termination of agreements with tenants, whose legal position against the landlord is strongly protected by Polish law. Fortunately, there are ways to strike a balance between the landlord's and the tenant's rights and make lease management economically reasonable and efficient. It turns out that providing the investor with the right legal expertise throughout the entire transaction process, a sound and supportive housing market environment, and a readiness to deliver the desired investment product are the key factors ensuring a successful and safe transaction in the private rented sector that meets the investor's expectations. With all these factors present, there is expected to be significant allocation of capital to this asset class and gradual growth of the sector in Poland in the upcoming years. That is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching us. See you soon.